Creative Brain Candy by creators for creators. In November of 1974, a small group from SETI, S-E-T-I, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, used the radio dishes at Arecibo to send out a message to whoever might be listening. They sent about a quarter of a kilobyte, including structure of human DNA, map of our solar system, population of the Earth, you know, helpful facts like that. In January of 1993, Arecibo received a message back from an extraterrestrial unknown source. That's great. Intelligent life beyond this planet. Yes. There were two distinct communications. The first message turned out to be a superior catalyst for methane. We now have the potential to produce an infinite amount of energy from this clean burning fuel. This convinced us that we were dealing with a friendly intelligence. The second message turned out to be a new sequence of DNA with a rather friendly instructions on how to combine it with ours. Here's some technical data on the whole operation. You can get feedback on it from Dr. Baker here. Basically, the new combined DNA sequence was injected into 100 human ova. We got seven to divide. Four petered out. Two were stored in liquid nitrogen. And we allowed one to grow. That's his code name there, Cell. It's after two hours. One day. Two days. Oh, my God. This growth is amazing. It's a week. It's a girl? Yes, I... We decided to make it female so that it would be more docile <laughs> and controllable. More docile and controllable, huh? Well, I guess you guys don't get out much. <laughs> And welcome to Smoking and Drinking in Space. This is a sci fi podcast from a couple guys who think they know sci fi. And this week we review the movie that shows not even a stacked cast and plentiful boob shots can save a shitty script, starring Sir Ben Kingsley, Forrest Whitaker, Michael Madsen, and Natasha Hendricks's boobs. It's 1995's Species. But first, he's the guy who, like myself, was forced to watch this shitty movie because someone wanted to see boobs. It's James. How are you doing, James? Yeah, can we fire Rob? Is it? Can we do that now? Like, yeah. Is this the last straw? I'm I, I, I'm exploring the possibilities of that, but I mean, there's some there's some legal stuff behind the scenes that I'm not sure that I can get it accomplished. So uh, I'll talk to his mom and see what I can do. <laughs> and he's the guy who forces people to watch shitty movies so he can see boobs. It's Rob. How are you doing, Rob? Damn. Yeah, I don't straight. care. I yeah, I don't care. Let, do you have any news? <laughs> Oh, no, but you don't care about the news. <laughs> I don't. I don't yeah, care I about news. your news. Let me tell you what's going on around CBC That'll before work. we get to Rob's shitty fucking news, which he's obviously going to fuck up because he was too busy jerking off to fucking species all week. We're looking for a new co-host on Status. Uh, go to creativebraincandy.com. Click the apply button. And if you're, I swear to Christ, if you just have a fucking pulse, like we will put you in this show. You could just take over for Rob. We'll tell him that we're, he's recording with us. Be like, we added a new co-host. We'll just mute his fucking. He doesn't even have to fucking know. Great at prankandy.com. Click the apply button. And while you're there, check out uh, all the great podcasts. We actually have some big news. Uh, we do have, indeed, it is now confirmed, two new podcasts coming to creativebraincandy.com. And unlike some other networks, one of them, at the very least, uh, is done by a uh, brand new uh, podcaster. So we're looking forward to announcing that. Please stay tuned, creativebrainkitty.com. Uh, you can check out uh, Saddis, uh, uh, Simply Stogies, Spoiler They Die, uh, Ears, uh, uh, Ears, <laughs> Eyes Forward March. You know why yeah, I said Ears Forward March? Because <laughs> yeah. I plucked out my eyes last night after watching this shit show. Uh, eyes Forward March. I'll, we'll all be talking about it soon. I promise. Just stay tuned. Uh, you never know. There might be a third one in the works somewhere. 
if you're interested in joining the crew uh, or this crew, or if you just want a podcast, go to braincandy.com, click the apply button and let us know. All right, Rob. Eh, fuck. What news you got for yeah. us this week, Rob? Well, uh, quick news uh, for this one's for James. Um, I told James that he uh, I had news specifically for him. Um, they've got a new baby Yoda doll coming out that eats shit. What eats shit? Well, not shit in general, but just eats different things: macaroons, squids, frog legs, or eggs. If you want, is there is there a like, do you think I didn't see that? Like, is there a reason you're telling me something that I've already seen? Well, it was just last week. Not right. It was just a quickie. It was just a quickie. Not a big deal. Um, other news. Uh, no, actually, this one's the one that you're going to get a kick out of. So uh, have you guys been watching uh, Captain? Uh, what? No, sorry. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yes. No, I haven't watched the second episode yet. I was well, forced. You watched the in, first in episode, of, right? In lieu of watching the second episode, I had to watch Species last night. Right. Yeah. But you watched the first episode, right? Yeah. Okay. So during that uh, spoiler, turn turn off your ears for the next uh, minute and a half. Um, if you haven't watched it, if uh, and if you haven't watched it, shame on you. Uh, anyway, so it uh, came to light that uh, that apparently uh, Tony Stark was not paying the Avengers during the uh, you know when during the movies and that kind of stuff during all this stuff, uh, and and so Falcon Sam was not getting uh, paid by Tony Stark. So uh, cancel culture is added again, and they want to cancel Sto- uh, Tony Stark. Oh, because for fuck's uh, sake. yeah, but here's the, here's the awesome thing. Twitter is having a field day with it and you got stuff like uh, Marvel stands trying to cancel. Tony Stark is funny because one, he's dead and two, he's fictional. So, you know, it, it's just, it's funny that uh, some people are trying to cancel, get Marvel to cancel Tony Stark or something just cause he didn't pay a, the other people and he was a billionaire or whatever. I thought it was kind of funny. Go, James. Go go where? I don't know. I figured uh, you'd have something to say about cancel culture. It, it's about a fictional character. I know. That fictionally didn't pay another fictional character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. In a piece of fiction. Y- y- yep, yep, yep. Rob, but do you appar- have real fucking news? But apparently like- cancel culture can't, uh, can't uh, distinguish between real and fantasy. Rob, you're already on my shit list. You got any real news? Perfect. Yeah, I've got some other uh, other Marvel news. Not Marvel, but uh, Marvel adjacent. Uh, Chloe, Chloe Bennett uh, revealed on Instagram her new red hairdo uh, for the live action version of the Powerpuff Girls. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, yeah. Apparently, they're making Powerpuff Girls uh, live action. Um, it's going to star uh, Chloe Bennett, Dove Cameron. Uh, who was on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well for a season, and uh, Ruby Hale. Um, I've got a synopsis here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Wait, I have that pulled up. It's right here. I had to scroll down on here. Um, <laughs> so it's uh, basically the synopsis is, uh, this is uh, f- in the future after the girls have uh, finished doing their superhero stuff and they have uh, gotten disenfranchised by doing all the superhero stuff, and then the world needs them once again, and they've got to come back together. It sounds kind of like a dysfunctional uh, superhero. It, sounds, know, it sounds lame. It sounds, you know what, it sounds lame is what it sounds. You know what you the world know. doesn't need? Powerpuff a, Girls. A live-action Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. Well, Who's playing I'm, Mojo Jojo? Uh, I don't know. Probably yeah. the same monkey that's uh, playing uh, that played in uh, Umbrella. Kong. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm I, I'm really done talking to you. I gave you three fucking nuggets of gold. <laughs> I know you did for this segment. Yeah. You want me to bring three. those up instead? And you brought you brought this bullshit instead because I, I already gave, had it. I already had it up and running. I gave you podcast gold, and wait, you wait, gave wait. all the rest of us podcast. Talk, it's not even soil yet. It's just. Are you shit. saying? Are you saying that the 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 article about ground squirrels overrunning coastal cities? What? 
That's oh, one of those nuggets fuck. of gold you sent Are me. Are you talking? No, sir, it is not. Why don't you look in your DMs on Discord? Oh, you want me to look in the DMs instead of the ones in our super secret chat channel? You are, I swear to God, you make me want to call you names. Yes, that Earth is safe. Canceled. Yeah, right. Oh, Earth is safe God. from an asteroid for 100 years. That's not news. None of us that listen to this or do this are going to be alive in 100 years. You are such a fuck. What about the next one? <laughs> oh, oh, the U.S. warship that uh, was getting harassed by UFOs. What about for the about one in between minutes? it? Goddamn, Bill Gates wants to dim the sun, and you're talking about what? I don't even know what the fuck. You're talking about fucking Powerpuff Girls. God, can we do a pod crawl before I fucking reach through this computer and strangle his dumb ass? <laughs> yeah. So what I'm getting at is uh, what I'm hearing here is seven o'clock is not going to work. I fucking future. hate you so much. <laughs> oh, let's do a pod crawl. Let's do this. We can call it, I don't know, say a pod crawl. The pod crawl. Pod crawl. Pod crawl, pod crawl, excellent, insert it deep, pod crawl. Kind of like a space suppository full of information. The film starts by explaining what SETI is and what they did to thrust this turd of a movie on an unsuspecting populace. SETI sent a cold call into space with age sex location information and unsurprisingly got a message back (laughs) from a creeper who promised great things if we would let them inject their DNA into us. Thus, Syl was born and grew up just so fast. She looks to be about 12 years old by the time she should be flailing at toys hanging above her like an epileptic cat. Dr. Mandarin decides she's become too much of a handful and sends his goons in to give her some sleepy gas. Syl says, nah, I'm not ready for nap time, and breaks out of her glass cage and hops a train heading to LA. Along the way she picks up thievery like a natural and goes through puberty in about an hour. After killing the conductor and emerging from a breathing man-eating the JJ, she's hottie McCopsel and she's on the prowl. Meanwhile, the Mandarin assembles his team of misfits to track so down comprising of a biologist, an anthropologist, Deanna Troy, and Mr. Blonde. They all head to LA when news of a gross meat bag and a dead conductor hit the police van. Phil, however, has discovered shopping and buys herself a god-awful wedding dress in preparation for her upcoming breed fest. She finds a place to stay where you don't pay extra for the cockroaches that sleep with you, and then hits the club to find herself some strange. At the club, so named because the writers aren't sure what the word subtle means, she finds Robbie, your classic 90s asshole trope sporting a douche donut. He takes Syl back to his place and exposes the sum total of his game, which consists of snapping his lights and music on. Then he's ready to fuck. <laughs> and so is Syl, until she smells the fudge rounds on his breath and decides to bail. But Robbie isn't one to take no for an answer, so Syl deep Frenches him as only she can, and then leaves. The Scooby gang have arrived at Syl's hotel having gotten a hot tip from Visa, and discover this whole affair is because it's Shark Week. They then learn about the dead body in the bathroom of Club Idiot, but the trail goes cold, and they head back to the hotel. After spending the night in a BMW on the beach, Syl runs out of gas, and then gets run over by someone who drives a lot like James. She's taken to the hospital by a good Samaritan named John, who is probably hoping to score some brownie points with a hot lady. He pays for her doctor bill, and she self-checks out after wolverining her shoulder back to health. John and Syl head back to this place for some fun with Polaroids and the hot tub. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Blonde and CSI Lady get a hot tip about a hot blonde who was run over near the car of their last murder victim, so they head to the hospital to investigate. They pump the receptionist for information, who hands over all of it, without question, or requesting identification, and Mr. Blonde and CSI Lady head over to John's place to check things out. They get there just as Syl is sexually assaulting John. Frustrated that she didn't get laid, Syl kills John and runs away, first making a deal with an attack squirrel to jump her pursuers if they come by. The Scooby gang, (laughs) once again at a dead end, discuss their plans out in the open so that Syl can lip-read them and know what's going on, and then head back to the hotel. Syl then kidnaps a young lady, chops off her thumb, and prepares to fake her own death in a fiery blaze using the second shittiest version of the Mustang and a lot of gasoline. She does the Mustang a favor by crashing it into a transformer, torching it, and the young lady inside to make it look like she died. The Scooby gang, having seen evidence that it's all over, but still somehow not convinced, head back to the hotel. Mr. Blonde and CSI Lady head back to her room to have some celebratory sex, Dr. Harvard strikes out hard, and heads back to his room to romance his hand, and Psychic Friends heads back to his room to sleep off half a dozen Long Island iced teas. 
Still, hearing Mr. Blonde already banging someone, decides Dr. Harvard is as good a donor as she's going to get, and plays the role of his hand for the night. After showing a remarkable amount of stamina considering the circumstances, Dr. Harvard finally lets go, and is ready for a nap when he realizes he's been sleeping with the enemy. Ghost Dog realizes Syl is in the vicinity, gets Mr. Blonde, and just as Blonde is about to bust into Harvard's room, Syl busts out and away. They chase her into a sewer where she gets revenge on Mandarin, and the last three standing find her birthing chamber, and the hellspawn that she produced, who looks about three years old at this point. They kill baby Giger after it morphs into a nightmare of lizard skin, and odd angles, and Syl is none too happy. She tries to hang Blonde with her boob tentacles, but he cuts himself loose, and then unloads a pistol into her, dumping her into a flaming tar pit. As they are saving Saw Gerrera, she latches on to get dragged out herself, Blonde shoots her in the head with a grenade, they all escape back to the surface, and roll a rat who ate a tentacle is now alien rat, king of all rats, bow before his spiky tongue, credits. Alright, Species, 1995's shitty fucking movie about alien boobs. The best part about this movie was the MGM lion at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I just want to I want to clarify. 17 or 18 year old me it was a fucking was, idiot. Thought it was a lot better than 38 year old me. <laughs> what? Hence, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, well. What else is new? Sticks and stones, James. Sticks and stones. <laughs> Have you seen this since you were fucking whacking off to it at 17? Hell, <laughs> hell no. Why, Why the this? fuck would you choose it Why? now? Why not? <laughs> because, because it's shit. Yeah, well, I gave you Ghostbusters. Wait, wait, wait. You gave what? us species. Our motto is we watch shit so you don't have to. That is not our motto. That is somebody else's <laughs> motto, dumbass. No, that's that's your motto. You say it all the time. I we- watched this because you made me. Uh-huh. That's this and- week's motto. And I feel good about it. <laughs> oh my god! But why? I want to know why. Your your pain sustains me, James. Your pain <laughs> sustains <laughs> me. He lives off of your salty tears. <laughs> Damn straight. It's like a hey, fine that's wine. Show too. Hey, that's a completely different show. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's burn through the very very short list of things that are actually good about this movie. Uh, starting, <laughs> starting with the actors. I mean, this has a stacked cast, and this is definitely a, an example of a film that has a shit script and that cannot be saved by by a stacked cast by he, here, actors who know my, what the fuck they're doing. This is my theory on what happened. Okay, the studio went to all of these fantastic high tier actors. Like in '95, Ben Kingsley was high tier. Sure. The rest of them were probably second tier. No, 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 no. Forrest Whitaker had a very uh, prolific what did career he have at this before ninety five. Um, he had several things. Let's let's look it up, shall we? Wait, wasn't he in uh, Full Metal Jacket? Or? No, he was in Good Morning Vietnam. Good Morning uh, Vietnam. So yeah. nineteen ninety five. Uh, well, let's see, nineteen ninety three. He so, did Body Snatchers. He was in The Color of Money. <laughs> All right, that's good. The he crying was in Platoon. Game. Yeah, he Platoon. Was in, that's what I was thinking of. Platoon. Uh, good Morning Vietnam. He was in Blood Bloodsport. Sport. Ooh, yeah. uh, he was. Blood Sport in, was not had a cult following. It wasn't a top tier movie, populated uh, with top tier actors. At the it time, was, it was it, a popular movie. Well, okay. I, I mean, they, the eighties martial art movies were big. Not all of them. American well, no, Ninja not, Part 17. <laughs> not all of them, but the, the, the <laughs> genre was big. Okay. All right. I'll accept that. Forrest Whitaker. I'll, I'll give you Forrest Whitaker, but CSI Lady, not a top tier actor. No, I don't think she had been in a lot before now. Now, Mr. Blonde was, I think he was Michael just Madsen. starting. To, he was just starting to blow up, wasn't he? Uh, he'd been in several things. Uh, he was in Reservoir Dogs, which was um, well, right, but that's a, a pretty what big blew, hit. That, yeah, that's what blew him <laughs> Into into stardom was Reservoir Dogs, wasn't it? I think he'd done some stuff before that. Let me yeah, look at his like, filmography. He was in Wyatt Earp. But uh, he had never carried a movie, had he, up to this point? Like, he was carrying this movie. No, no, it, I don't think he had been a leading man yet. Let me, right, but like, let me double check that. Oh, hey, he was he, leading yeah, man. Yeah, here. he was in Free Willy. <laughs> God. 
Shut the fuck up, Rob. <laughs> hey, no, uh, Rob, the you, you're not allowed to talk the rest of this podcast. Okay? <laughs> you're the, you're the, done. He's in the natural. You are, you are, I'm cutting you off. You are done. No more. Like You can have your haiku about boobs and ha 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 made you watch a dumb movie. Whatever the fuck your haiku is about. Uh, that's it. I, you're done. Uh, well, now I need to make my haiku about boobs. <laughs> How was it? Not about boobs. Oh, God, it's, you it's were something just better. T- you are so terrible at everything you do. I don't and even yet, you what? keep me around. I don't. Jason makes us keep you around, and I don't know why. Uh, because you're not allowed to uh, discriminate against the mentally um, handicapped. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, fair uh, enough. Have you seen my baseball? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, Rob pissing off all kinds of people this week already. Not just us. <laughs> Cancel culture. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real. I'm a real boy. God, please, cancel culture, come for Rob. Please come for Rob. We will happily just sacrifice him on the altar of woke. Please just come for him. <laughs> altar of woke. Okay. Can, you, can you cancel Rob, though? I mean, isn't that like, you know, shooting fish in a barrel or... <laughs> Kicking someone when they're down already. Well, is, mm. Yeah, probably. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm inviting cancel culture to please come <laughs> cancel Rob for us. I'd be ever so grateful. All I'm saying is out of all of these actors, to get back to what we were talking about, all these actors, except for Ben Kingsley, they were Did he ever have hair? No. Well, I'm sure so. he did when he was a kid. Anyway. Uh. None of them had, had had been leading men before. And, and Michael Madsen and the CSI chick, I don't even remember her name. And Marge. Forrest, Forrest Whitaker. And then the other guy who was, he's. Alfred he's Molina. Big, yeah. He's in a bunch of stuff. Like all of these people are in a bunch of stuff because they're great actors. But up to this point, I don't think a lot of them had had a leading man or woman. Like they had never had that role. And this was kind of thrust upon them. Right. I Because. Ben Kingsley wasn't leading this movie. <laughs> he, he was just the mad scientist that let the experiment get out. Yeah, it was pretty like, much Michael Madsen and uh, uh, what's her face? CSI lady. And it just didn't work for me. Number one. Number two, I feel like this is how they got them all together. Like some producer in Hollywood was like, we've got, we've got this movie where it's going to be like a man hunting movie where you're all looking for somebody and you each have a special set of skills that you bring to the table. So it's like teamwork. And we're going to, you know, Nunchuck we're really going to land that, but we don't know yet skills. what it's going to be about, <laughs> but we want to sign you guys. You're going to get a big payday and you'll get residuals. And you'll get this, you'll get that. And you'll get leading roles. And they're all like, fuck yeah, we're all in. We're all in. And then they were like, all right, great. We signed all these people. How much money do we have left in the budget for a script? And they were like $3. (laughs) And the guy's like, no, seriously, how much money do we have left in the budget for a script? And someone's like, no, seriously, I rounded up. It's $2 and 73 cents. I'll pitch in the 27 cents. Like, I feel like that's how this movie got made. It, it, it's it's close, actually. <laughs> so this movie actually started out as uh, they envisioned it as a police procedural. So oh, for fuck's sake, I think I, it, I think it actually I think we dodged a bullet. No, I think it could have worked better as a police procedural where it go, had a little bit of, at yeah. the end. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to have the don't don't the doink doink noise. Um, I, I think it could have worked better as a police procedural where it was a little bit more. Uh, you know, a, a slower pace, although this fucking movie was slow in a lot of places where it really shouldn't have been slow in the first place. But we'll get to that. <laughs> but I think where it had some mystery to it, um, where you're not just the antagonist or the sympathetic antagonist, which didn't turn out to be very sympathetic uh, about two thirds or a third of the way through the movie. The, the Not even last- a third of the way into the movie, like less than that. I mean, basically, like once, once she fucking killed the conductor and yep, you're out and, you're and transformed, you're just like, eh, fuck her. <laughs> I mean, right. Like you're, you're just done at that point. Like a kid doing it. Yes. But when you get a full grown hottie adult and like she was hot, 
you have this full grown hottie adult fucking just killing people willy nilly. It's not, you, you've lost all sympathy, all sympathy. If they would have kept it as a teenager or, or, or that young girl, it may have played a little bit better, but then it loses all of just the blatant fucking Boob over shots. the top sexuality that they were trying to, yeah. to put into it, which is just is stupid. Yeah. But no, I think, I think as a, as a more investigative type movie, it could have worked better. You know, they're, they're trying to figure out what in the fuck is killing these people. And they're, they're tracking down something that they don't really understand yet. Um, but that they're, they're getting clues as to what they're looking for. But I think the, the danger with that is you're basically making an X-Files movie. But this was, oh, the X-Files was around in 95 for sure. Yeah. X-Files but you make that around. the twist at the end, but the, yeah, it was, Yeah, but you make this, the tw- you make the, the alien portion of it, the twist at the end, you make it a, a cop procedural, a uh, procedural, Jesus, I can't even talk. I'm so angry. I had to watch this shit, uh, <laughs> procedural, but at the end you give it that sci-fi twist, uh, by making the antagonist that you've been trying to find the whole time, an alien. And then that leaves it open for sequels that might be. There is a sequel, and well, okay. it's going to come back up during three host fucking choice. sequels. I don't care about three and four, uh, but sequel number two, we're going to watch that one next time. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, yeah. I guarantee you, we're not. <laughs> no. Host choice. 100%. No. Host no. choice. You could, you'll we be will, We will implement some sort of veto rule yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, it's... <laughs> Why didn't we have that rule for like Metropolis or Charlie? Uh, no, look, look, wait, hold on. Just, just let, let, let me just, let me address that for a minute. Cause I know that's what everyone's thinking is how can James fucking poo poo this movie and poo poo Metropolis and poo poo Charlie. Look, Metropolis uh, James and Charlie didn't, James have artistic vision at the very least. I, I don't think they're sci-fi Metropolis. Yes. The first sci-fi movie movie ever. Great. We'll watch it. We watched it for the, the, the historicity of it, the historical significance of it. Charlie, we watched because Jason thinks things are sci-fi when they're not 11, 22, 63, Mad Max, Charlie. Fine. We'll watch, we'll watch it. And at least has some kind of artistic integrity to it. This is literally gratuitous tit shots. Would you expect anything? Different Look, man, me? if you're going to just make us watch this shit, then pick something off of fucking your, your <sighs> Fine. hard drive. Ma- next time, it'll be Emmanuel in space. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. No. I, no. That's sci Softcore porn is exactly like going to a strip club. It's like walking into a candy shop, but you can't fucking touch. You can't fucking taste. Like It's just like, oh, man, I'm really hungry, and there's all this great candy around. I can't have any. Fuck it. No, I won't do it. it if you're going to do some kind of bullshit like this, Rob, just go full on porn so we can just say no. I'm not, we're not allowed to do porn, so I've got to that's, skirt that's around right. the rules. That's right. We're not. That's why we would that's have to I say no. That's why I said no. Well, I'm just going to skirt I'm around done the watching, rule. I'm done watching anything you ask us to watch, Rob. Oh, if, man. if anything that's on the list, Jason, has Rob's name next to it, I'm out. <laughs> I am fucking out. Let's check the list and see what all hey. Rob has next to him. <laughs> not, not all of them. Not all of them are bad. Like I put jujitsu on the list because, like, I know <laughs> what the like, hell. I can't wait for you guys to fucking watch that. Just I thought rip you it said to shreds. no. This isn't what you thought we'd rip to shreds, Rob. When you put this on the list, you were like, "Oh man, I love jerking my fucking dick to this movie." When I was seventeen years old, these guys will love it. James loves tits. Let's do it. That's what you thought. And you thought way wrong. You thought like there is a limit. There is a limit. Like this was not in good taste. And so, it just so now we know where done. your limit is. We can back right. up from that. So let's look at Rob's contributions to the great big oh, list of sci-fi titles. Let's hear it. The first one on the list. And we've already reviewed this one. Earth girls are easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I want to say movie. that was his host choice last time it was a terrible fucking movie uh, uh, J- jason liked it jason liked fucking gold bloom but well, he didn't like know. the movie if, if memory serves like the movie's <laughs> kind of stupid yeah uh, and then we've got fallen skies which is fine that's a good oblivion one. that's a good oblivion was, was good one, one of his that was a good one we, uh, quantum leap is a good series sequest yeah, yeah. sucks balls 
And I, I put that on terrible. there. I, I just put it on there for the talking dolphin. <laughs> Stop putting shit on there for fucking dumb reasons. No, Species, this fun. shit show. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. oh, he put another shit show on here called The Postman. Oh, well, that I'm was, not watching. No, I'm out. No, no, that, I'm out. That was, I'm out. That was, uh, no, I'm out. you guys told me to put that on. No, you put no, that on there because, no, no, no you put, put that, that, no, you there. put that on there because you also, you also put Waterworld for some reason. Waterworld's on there too. And it's, yeah. uh, and that's yeah. yours too. Yeah. yeah. You and Red conned, didn't con me, but you're like, oh no, that's what you said. We're putting it on there. <laughs> Fucking, yeah. why is Rob on this show? Like oh I'm God. questioning everything right now. I'm questioning reality Keep itself. Keep going. There's, there's. Then we've also ones. got Valerian. I've never seen yeah. that one, so I that can't. Uh, oh, oh, I have. Why is that on the list, Rob? It, it's sci-fi. It's not good. It's still sci-fi. Oh no, no, and, no! The and last he host, hasn't seen it, so I want to make sure that uh, he watches it. The last host choice was Wing Commander. That was what no, he chose. No no. no, no, I chose that one to piss off James with Freddie Prince Jr. You keep picking movies for stupid fucking no, reasons. No, it was a good one. J- James hated it, and Jason laughed. And then both so, Rob and SP requested The Time Traveler's Wife. So I'm starting to what? question SP's choice I, in, yeah, in, me too. Uh, yeah. in movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's because yeah. it's time traveling. Yeah. I can see why I, I backed I, that. I don't one even up. know. I don't even know where to go. Are we done with this show yet? <laughs> um, no, no. Uh, we we, we got to talk about. Uh, no, we no, got to no. talk about no. why this fucking movie was made. Yeah. So why? so we've still got twenty minutes before um, before this is over because there's a timer, um, and I'm not going to let you out of the room until the timer expires. Oh God! Wait, are you okay. saying that I can't just get up and leave? No, no. The doors the doors locked. You can't. Are get you out. sure? I'm going to mm-hmm. check. Because if the door's not locked, <laughs> I'll be back to give my awards in about twenty minutes. Well, okay. will that work? Can I? No. Can I? Can I check? No, no, that's not how we wrote it Are in the sure? script. That's how oh, the check. script was wrote. Uh, script. Doors script open. Was, oh, there he goes. Now he's woken up his daughter. All right, now let's talk about the real movie that we watched. Yeah, yeah. What, what did we really watch? <laughs> Thanks for, for ruining that gag. God, you are objectively <laughs> terrible in podcasting. <laughs> like everything that you do, Rob, is just terrible. Oh my God. Create a breakhandy.com. Click the apply button. If you have a pulse, you're in. <laughs> no, this movie was shit. And especially let's let's talk about the worst thing. Well, one of the what? worst things about There's this movie. There's a lot movie. of worst things in this fucking movie. And fortunately, they didn't use it a lot, but the CGI in this movie just oh. sucked balls. And it's I not know. like we hadn't had good CGI at this point because, nah, you know, right. there was Jurassic Park. Uh, I mean, there, there, there have been quite a few movies before this one was released that had good CGI. I knew it was going to be a shit movie at the opening scene where, like, the, the gas turned into the word species. That was bad. That was bad. This is like fucking 1950 B movie level bullshit. Like they were like literally three dollars for the script, and I I, I'll give you a pocket full of bubble gum and some paper clips to fucking get the CGI done. Yeah, I think they I think they hired a couple of kids on the street corner to to get on their computers and and use Microsoft Paint to draw the fucking CGI. They probably got a couple of 17-year-olds who are like, you guys want to see some tits? Free tit there, shots. There's a lot in this movie. Do the CGI mm-hmm. for free. You get to see them. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, you can't, uh, you can't knock this completely. I mean, it was a $35 million budget, and it made 113. Because so it, of perverts like you, Rob. Right. Because of perverts... <laughs> I, this is sex I call sells. this I call sex not anymore. Sells. Not anymore. Sex doesn't sell. Social justice sells. Sex doesn't. Yeah. Uh but in the nineties. In the eighties, yeah. sex sold. Uh mm-hmm. I, I call it the showgirls effect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that was a pretty yeah, that bad was a, movie. That was it's another a shit good movie, one. If it, it I wish it little, was sci fi. Uh, it's a sci fi eleven twenty two sixty three. Uh, okay, perfect. Put it on the list. <laughs> Stop you putting said, terrible movies on the list. You said it was as sci-fi as 11, 22, I didn't 63. say it was good. You said it was sci- as sci-fi as that one. So we can go on the list. It wasn't fucking sci-fi. Oh. The oh. thing that, 
Showgirls <sighs> has going for it is it's better lot, than this uh, movie in oh, that yeah. you can mute the uh-huh. movie and just watch it, and it's much yep. better. You yep. can't do that with this movie. Correct. Well, uh, you can if you can read lips. I've no. never met anybody. Even, even muting who, this movie, yeah. it, it still no. sucks. I, I've never met anybody who jerks off to a horror movie. Rob? I don't. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the internet now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, mm-hmm. was it the internet kind of a thing in 95? I don't fucking remember. That was a long time ago for me. It was, but uh, it wasn't widely available. Yeah, it wasn't what it is. Today. I had I had internet in ninety five. No, but it but was there on were chat it, rooms. Yeah, yeah, there was there was IRC back in the day. Rob was sending ASL to anyone on the there was no chat room. Room. back in the day. There was email. Ninety five yeah. was the emergence of uh, web pages of of H. Uh, yeah, I didn't World get Wide internet till probably ninety nine. I don't believe 90, you. 98, I don't, 99. I, I well, I don't know. When did uh, America's Army come out? Uh, that would have been right around there. <sighs> yeah. About that time. Hey, hey, my porn used to have to be on three and a half inch floppies. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was 1.4 megabytes of JPEGs. That's not really a floppy disk, by the way, because those disks were hard. Mm-hmm. Made of plastic. I remember the real floppy disks. Oh, yeah. No, I had those. Those those five and a quarters. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what they were? Five and quarters? Yeah. I believe so. There were also eight inch floppies. I never Uh, had the eight inch. I never had the eight tracks. Just cassette. (laughs) No. No. (laughs) God damn. (laughs) Oh, moving on. Yeah. No, this this movie, I mean, it, it really fucking blew. The pacing was just fucking stupid. The, the so I think the growth rate was a little inconsistent between <laughs> yeah. what they yeah. showed her growth rate to be and what they showed her kids' growth rate to be because she gave more pure the, sample or the pure sample growth rate. Yeah, that was way off too. Well, so the pure sample maybe had a more accelerated growth rate because it was pure; it wasn't mixed with human DNA. But you would what was think, it mixed with? How did they inject it? In, what kind of egg did they inject it into? Well, they may not have injected. Well, no, so they, they, they showed it injecting into an egg. Like you can, an egg or a cell, just can, like a regular. Single you can cell? take all know. of the DNA out of a out of an egg and then inject other DNA into can it. Can you? Can you in 1995? Yes, in 1995 we could do that. They cloned shit by then. They cloned a sheep. Dolly. How the fuck do you remember that? Dude. But you didn't remember how terrible of a movie this is? Brain of useless knowledge. He's a savant and, of some sort. And <laughs> An I, idiot savant. And I was distracted by the boobies. There weren't enough boobs in this movie. Hey, for a 17 dist- year old, they were good. No, they weren't, Rob. No. Yes. They weren't. You yes. didn't even get to see boobs. Like the first time you saw boobs was on the TV while she's in the motel room. Yeah, I didn't. I So. Boops or poops. That was like an hour into the movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there weren't a lot of boobs. You got to no, see her boobs. No, 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 no. You hey. saw boobs when she uh, did the back handspring out of out of the, uh, what did you call it? Vagina? The vajayjay, cocoon? yeah. The vajayjay cocoon? Oh, you mean yeah. covered in grossness? Oh, man. That's just uh, <laughs> an emotion for the oh, ocean. Oh, fuck. God. <laughs> wow. I don't, like, Didn't guys, you call that, like, the, uh, the, the menstrual... I, I, no, no, the, the menstrual thing was on the fucking toilet. Breathing man eating the JJ. Okay. The menstrual thing was on the toilet. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, this whole movie, oh, it's just gross. And I don't, like, 17-year-old me wouldn't have fapped to this movie, Rob. Like, there's no, in, in no way, shape, or form is this movie sexy. Like, the times you see her, t- like, no. When she's, like, trying to literally rape the guy in the pool, no. I, did you think, did you think that that was rape back then? I don't think you can't. Yeah, I so can't. Can, I'm no, not going to get ca- canceled. <laughs> this is all about you yeah. getting canceled. All right. I'm trying. No. I'm trying. I come for I'm trying to take you down not with me, Jay. No, I'm, I'm not you falling down. into your canceled trap. I'm out. Uh uh-uh. uh. No way. I just, this movie is not, it, it, it does not, I, I just don't get it, Rob. I, I just, yeah, I don't well. get it. I'm trying to understand you 
and I'm I don't want to but don't. at this point because it's don't. weird. Don't try to understand. Do you me. have a it lot of tentacle hentai in on your folder? Uh, there is there is a category for that. Yes. Fucking <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It's right. Now, it goes in that same um, two girls, one cup category. Oh, I don't for look at it. Fuck's sake. I, All right. I, moving I don't on. look at it. <laughs> wow. But there are people out there. Um, another thing that really annoyed me about this movie was they they got H.R. Giger to uh, design Syl in her alien form. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was and very I, apparent. So very apparent. I, I enjoy H.R. Giger's art and design, and I thought he did an excellent job on the Alien series, and he's, his, his art is really good. But at this point in time, I think I had seen way too much of his shit in movies and his design influences in movies. And as much as I enjoy Giger's work, it looks a lot the same. I mean, he he's definitely got a a style to him, and whenever all the movies oh, start yeah. to use him as 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 the designer for their creatures, all the movies start to look the same. Well, like um, the the whole train sequence thing. I mean, it was like, hey, there's the alien head. Interesting. Right. right. Well, and <laughs> you know, I mean, that's what I thought. It was like that's stupid. He spent a hundred thousand dollars of his own money to make that train sequence to get it into they the movie. We're out. Of money. Yeah. I don't like this. I'm telling you out of money. They spent it on the cast and nothing else. That, that, that is, that's fact. That's fact. $3. Round it up. <laughs> pocket change. Two seventy three. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's, uh, I like HR Giger's work. Uh, well, that's, you know, rest I, that's in peace, HR Giger, but. I, that's why they got him. No, They're no, like, I understand dude. why they got him. He does yeah. great, excellent work. No, but that's all not of, why. Absolutely not. Why did they, they get knew him? he wanted because they knew that he wanted to get his his art out there into pop culture, and that he was willing to give them hundred thousand dollars to make it fucking happen. <laughs> his art was already out there in pop culture. He was he was a. <laughs> I didn't hear about him until a couple of years later. Uh, when I went to uh, when I moved to Iowa City and I started hanging out with with uh, what would eventually become hipsters, uh, uh, we're going to college there. And it wasn't really my scene. They were all into H.R. Giger, and I'm like, you know, this looks like is he trying to be scared? Like, yeah, that's the art. Like, it's not art. It's just stupid. Like, guys, he's not he's not my it's not my artist. This isn't my movie. I'm not my artist. Rob's not my podcaster. <laughs> okay, well, he was still popular. Whether you knew about him or not, he was he was still popular. So I am the center of the universe, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and a lot of his rise to popularity and fame came from Alien. It looked like uh, that's what I, I was like. Uh, is this is this supposed to be part of the Alien franchise? Because that's kind of what it looked like. Well, you could say that the Alien franchise was yeah a part of his work. I, I'd rather I, I'd rather not say this movie is a part of anything. Like anybody who watches this and says, like, wants it to be a part of, part of them, a part of their history, a part of their coming of age, um, they have some problems. They have some real problems that I would strongly suggest uh, finding some therapy for. Rob, hmm. okay, whatever. <laughs> Another thing that annoys me about this movie was. I understand what they were going. They were trying to make an unsympathetic protagonist and a sympathetic antagonist. And I don't think it worked. I think both of them came out unsympathetic. Wait, who was supposed to be the unsympathetic protagonist? Uh, Kingsley's character. I just thought he was a mad scientist asshole. Yeah, he was the un- unethical scientist who was doing experimentations on on humans. And then... Decided to abort the experiment well, and then on let human, the on human embryos. Let's just not humans like like real okay, life. She was half humans. human, right? But not. Yeah, like just, but yeah, she wasn't. But a she person. started as a little tiny egg. Yeah. So at like, that point in time, it's not. Yeah, it's not like they took a little child and said, "Here, take exactly. this shot, and we're going to convert you." No, it, yeah. it was from the get go. Okay, Had but they, they still done that. they still created 
a human alien hybrid and you still no. have responsibilities to that no. that no no, no? no. Okay. no. no. Jesus fucking Christ do not ever no. become fucking research scientists either one of you well, okay duh. <laughs> I, did, I wow. have no ethics. I know better. Like I know what I should do and what I should. I'm very self aware, Jason. Very self aware. Like, do not give me keys to shit because I will fuck it up. All right. I will absolutely yeah, don't give, rain don't give down them a red button or a green button on humanity. That red button will get hit every time. Give it half the chance. Like not like the nuclear football. Nothing. Don't do it. Because I honestly, I'd be Nero. On the fucking roof with a fiddle. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. All right. So I know what I should play with and what I shouldn't. Now, if they really wanted to make him like this unsympathetic protagonist, like kidnap a fucking kid and inject him with alien DNA. Like do that. Then you're like, ah, fuck this guy. Like he took little Timmy and made Timmy the fucking Natasha Henstridge. Like yeah, then, I, don't, I don't think they wanted to make him one dimensionally evil, though. I think they were moving towards more of a Dr. Frankenstein type but character, that's what I'm, especially in 95. Like you're talking about fucking frozen. Imp- Nobody gave a shit. No. And people now don't give a shit. They're like, what like, is it? A person's not a person. The fuck? Nobody cares. So that's not making you. That's not making you unsympathetic. That's just making you a guy with nah, questionable ethics and morals. And guess what? Those are fucking dime a dozen as I have uh, just demonstrated because I would be that guy. Like, ah, fuck it. Let's just use it. Yeah. No, I, I, I get that. But then they, they muddled the fucking waters whenever uh, they were trying to put the or fix the camera uh, with the pure sample that was going out of control. And he wouldn't open the doors because he didn't want that one to fucking escape. And that was actual dumb. protocol. Wait, yep, no, but yeah. that's dumb because it hadn't even started yet. They could have gotten out and then just no. hit the burner. No, no, no. Okay. How, how do you yeah. know that it wasn't yeah. airborne as well? Exactly. At that point, I'm just going to be honest with everybody. Again, this is why you don't give me keys to shit. Like, I, would, I wouldn't have even given the timer. I would have been like, all right, guys, thanks for going in there and trying to fix it. Bye. And just fire. <laughs> there I go. <laughs> We fucked up again. All right. Let's what? go find another manhunter and a CSI chick. Like that's, that would have been me. Cause that's the smart play. But then they also, you know, showed that he didn't actually inform them of what would happen if, if there was a containment issue. I look, I'm it, it was just, it was I just poorly busy. written. I'm busy. I got shit to do. I can't tell you about every well, fucking I'm, little thing that may or may not happen to you while you're I'm, in there. And I'm glad that, you know, they do all this over a floored great, uh, a graded floor. You know? <laughs> graded so floor, right. Like that made a lot through. of fucking. Let's well, where's the fire going to come from if it's not graded, Rob? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere <laughs> else. Flamethrowers from the side, man. Didn't make sense. Do cars make you invisible in 1995? Was this something that I was not aware of? If you were inside of a vehicle, people outside of the vehicle could not see you at night when your headlights are being shown. Yeah, I don't know. Vi- I don't know. Well, of course, they really I, didn't know what she looked like at that point. Yeah, either. it was always blurry. But it is you kind know, of because odd they didn't that have- there's, a, there's a blonde lady in a car with a, <laughs> <laughs> surrounded by fire trucks and police cars. You, you kind of maybe want to question that person. Like, what are you doing here? Right. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. at one point, the guy like Madsen goes up to the, uh, Mr. Blonde and like, he goes up to a blonde that he thinks might be her after everyone else thinks she's dead. Whips her around like, ah, oh, sorry. I had you mistaken for somebody else. My bad. I thought you were a man eating alien. I'm close. I'm, I'm a foul. woman. Foul. That's my fault. My fault. But. But no, like a blonde in a car. Well, I'll leave her alone. She's driving somewhere. She's yeah. probably going to get dinner for her man. Maybe she ran out of things to make sandwiches with. Oh, shit. I don't, I don't, I just, it didn't make sense to me. And then how did the alien who didn't understand a whole lot in our world to begin with figure out that putting gasoline in a Ford <laughs> and then make running, it it, <laughs> running it down a hill at, you know, 10, 15 miles an hour would make it explode because it wouldn't, number one. Uh, number two, like, like, she's not, she was supposed to be a child. She was supposed to have the mind of a child, right? Like, yeah, she can learn, 
but she's only been alive for less than what a week. Yeah, uh, it'd been. If no, that. I thought it had been like a month. Um, okay, a month. Like she doesn't talk a lot. She does. I, I just does. It didn't make sense to me how she was like. I will plan and fake my whole fucking death. Three in the months. most obtuse fucking way possible. <laughs> it just, it didn't, I, I didn't understand. And then like she could tail somebody, but God damn, she was a terrible tail. Number one, like she's literally like half a car length away from the car. She's tailing as they turn into, uh, into the hotel. And instead of, just to you know, keep going straight so nobody thinks you're a tail. She stops, she stops to look. turn in the middle of the fucking road and nobody well, sees. Like, how do you not notice a tail? Well, how well, did she learn to like, drive in the first place? It's she watched that one dude do it, but she, uh, it's she not did. like it's not like the uh, government guys were any better. I mean, they wanted to set up a stakeout, but to do that, they had to bring the entire police force. To the stakeout. And why is the mad scientist in charge of doing stakeouts? Like, hey, let's go back to the place where she was, even though everyone is telling me that she won't be there. I'm in charge of the stakeout, guys. We're going back to the club, motherfuckers, because I, I, I made her. He, I know he where she's going to go. to get some strange. It didn't make any sense. And why are we saying the word strange? It's not the 70s. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Shit my dad would say. Oh, you're going to go get some strange? What the fuck? Did, shut the fuck up. It's not... God, his poo nanny sounds a little weird. It came back into the fucking lexicon, dude. How? When? Why? Look, old man, just deal yeah, with just, it. It's just part of it. it. Okay, you need to be part of the uh, the the now culture. I want to be part of cancel Rob's culture. Is what I want to be a part of. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> you don't. Have, you don't scare me. I, I'm not. The, I just. I'll be in line with the picketers. So I'll one be, of the like, stupidest I'll be their thing. Hold aside. One of the stupidest things in this movie was fucking boob te- tentacles. Yeah, that, there's a lot of stupid things in this movie. Aerial like tentacles. Lot. Is that the part you fap to, Rob? Mm-hmm. What do you I mean like areola to tentacles? Well, it just came out of the areola area. It, it wasn't like the entire. Nipples, I don't know. It came out of her nipples. Boobs. Oh, that's true. Okay, it came out of the nipples. Okay. Do you Nipple know what tentacles. an areola is? No, a, he does not. Let's, no. Look, we're not doing health. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is not health class. <laughs> Have you now ever seen an areola strange. that's not on a screen, Rob? I get it now because it's strange to Rob. All of it. The whole process. <laughs> everything to do with it is 100% foreign and strange and weird to Rob. I get it now. I do yep. like that the movie introduced the hobo jump scare. <laughs> okay. Wait, uh, hold two on. of them in a dumpster. <laughs> wait, what were they well, doing? No, the first hobo d- d- uh, jump scare was in the, the train car. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the train car. Yeah. Let me, I want to ask you about the two, <laughs> the two homeless guys uh, at the dumpster. What about Because, them? well, uh, well, it was Forrest Whitaker, right? Yeah. 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 I found him. Pre, mm-hmm. pre eye thing. Pre I thing. Well, he had his eye thing. It just hadn't progressed yet. Right. Yeah. He he walks out and he's looking around and he finds these two hobos and they like one of them stands up real quick. Rawr! Right. And then the mm-hmm. other one stands up slowly and like grabs his him. lips. Yeah. And then they go down really, 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 really slow <laughs> while staring at Forrest Whitaker. And I'm just wondering what were two homeless dudes doing behind a club behind a dumpster at night look they hadn't graduated to bus stations yet yeah you can use your imagination i figure they were probably you know playing pokemon or something but you know pokemon in 95 <laughs> I, I see jason's going the wholesome route because everything else about this podcast and movie has been so fucking wholesome <laughs> There's a super rare Pokemon behind the dumpster. They were playing Scrabble. There's a Pokestop over here, guys. No, I didn't say Pokemon Go. Oh, sorry. Jesus Christ, Rob. (laughs) Mobile phones weren't like they are today. Did you see that fucking phone? Yeah, it was a fucking brick. Yeah, it was huge. I remember those. Like, look, kids, look, I'm not talking like Nokia brick. I'm talking like it was bigger a big fucking Motorola's brick. Like it was huge. 
it was bigger than, than, well, shit I can't say because it'll get me canceled and I'm all about getting Rob canceled today. <laughs> Normally, I like bring it on. I'll say whatever, but not today. Today is Rob's time to shine. All right, James, I got a question for you. Yeah. Is Species this shit show that Rob made us watch more sci fi than 112263? Yes. I, I am uh, fuck you know yeah i have to say yeah yes. it's gonna have to be unfortunately yeah. uh there was there was a phone call to seti which doesn't happen very often guys uh, if you don't know what seti is this movie explains it to you um yeah and there's an alien dna and stuff and then like an actual alien and then a rat turns into an alien for some reason unfortunately this shit show of a fucking movie more Sci-fi than 11, 63. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, Rob, you got a haiku for us this week. I do. Uh, this haiku is titled safe word. Always remember sex can be fun with safe words. Pumper. Can't breathe. Uh, send an email to bring candy.com <laughs> if you want to cancel Rob. Uh, I, I, I implore you, please, for the love of all that is holy, it is time to rain down wokeness upon the head of Rob, he who hath made us watch shit. All right, who's got awards? <laughs> Yeah, I think I do. Or are we boring you, Rob? Oh, man. I'm telling you. I hate you so much for making us watch this movie. <laughs> yeah. God, I hate you. Who's got your fucking black lung? Uh, I'm just going to give it to everybody that was inside that cave because oil burning, that, that's got to get into your lungs. Yeah, yeah. James? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to uh, uh, the alien. For burning. Okay. She was on fire. So mine's going to go to the uh, guys that tried to gas her at the beginning, but then got Ooh. gassed themselves whenever she why broke didn't, out. Why didn't they just do that when she went to sleep? Yeah, oh, because originally. then we wouldn't have a movie and yeah, because they're evil. evil so they're evil for making stupid. us have a movie like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not because they, they were trying to, to kill her. They wanted to give you something to fap to, Rob. That's Thank why. You. Thank you. James, who's got your head lush? Thank you, world. Uh, my head lush is going to go uh, to uh, the head writer of the screenplay. He was <laughs> obviously drunk the entire time he had. What do you mean I've got 30 minutes to write a fucking movie? God damn it. Where's my whiskey? That's who gets it. This movie went through eight fucking drafts. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I, eight drafts were, over eight months. If there were fucking eight people on this planet who read that script and said, yes, it should be a movie. They all deserve to be in the same room uh, uh, as Rob and shot. <laughs> Rob, who's got your head lush? Uh, I'm giving it to uh, Whitaker's character for his Long Island iced teas. Yep. That's who's getting mine. He, yeah, uh, he apparently never drinks, but then started sucking down Long Island iced teas. Like, cause uh, there's tea like in it. There was no more tomorrow. Yeah. Rob, who's got your player? Uh, give it my player to, uh, John Kerry. Cause he forgot to use the safe word. <laughs> okay. James. God damn it. In the spirit of not being canceled and wanting all of that to go to Rob. I abstain from giving my player award this week. What? No, you can't do that. I can't. I That's abstain. not how this works. I abstain. I don't want to be canceled because if I was going to give you that award, it'd go to the guy with diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> mine's going to go to uh, Dr. Octopus. Uh <laughs> For basically really having to do nothing and uh, instead of having to whack off that night after striking out, 
uh, he got to uh, he got to sleep with Henstridge, and then still got whacked. Hey, let me ask you this: I want to ask Rob this question. Okay, is it worth it? If you knew, is, is if what you knew worth it? You were going to die a quick and but probably still painful death. Mm-hmm. Would you impregnate uh, an alien that looked like Natasha Henstridge? It's a toughie. It's, it's your very last act on earth, but you get to have like just banging for sex how, for how long? Dime. For how long? Well, for you, probably a couple of seconds. For everybody yeah. else, probably 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, James, who's got your purple hippo? Rob, for making us watch this fucking shit show of a movie, and I hate him for it. I will hate him now, I will hate him tomorrow, and I will hate him forever. Fuck you, Rob. Rob? Uh, I'm giving mine to the writers for giving Forrest Whitaker special powers for special occasions. <laughs> that he really didn't use. He, he was basically just somebody who stated was the a- obvious. Yeah, he was a he was basically a 1995's version of Google Maps. I really <laughs> wanted him to have a Jamaican accent. A Jamaican? Why? Like uh, Miss Chloe. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Call so yeah, Miss Chloe now. Miss Chloe knows your future. That's that's racist, and I apologize. Please cancel Rob, not me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Uh, yeah, mine's going to Rob, too, for making us watch I'm, this shit. I'm going to get, get canceled. You. I'm going to get canceled because of my own shit, not stuff that you say. <laughs> not if I can help it. No. Hey, I'm just going to try to heap as much on it as I possibly can. All right. Well, that means it's my choice next week. Ah, oh, shit. It's probably like Metropolis 2. You know what it is. God damn it. That's Charlie what James two. said earlier. What the fuck? Or maybe like well, Charlie 3. <laughs> you have... You, you do have a reputation, my man. You do. I mean, what is it? Lay it you on. You know assholes. No, I well, was going to pick a classic this no, week. God damn it. But Don't you, two, you fucking change it. Don't you fucking change it. I know what it was be. supposed to be. Don't you do it. Fuck. I should I should pick something species just really two. fucking no. shitty. No. Oh, species fuck you. Two. Jiu-Jitsu. Just, just a <laughs> I am not picking jujitsu. <laughs> no, so next week we will be Species discussing the movie four. where a hero and his trusty half man, half dog set out to rescue a kidnapped princess from the clutches of an evil despot. This stars Fire. Mel Brooks, John Candy, Rick Moranis. Yes. It's 1987 Spaceballs. See, Rob, this is how you do it. You it's your it's your pick. You pick something good. Not the shit you usually pick. There's no fun in that. This was not I, fun. I, I, it was for I me. Hate you. I hate you so much. Again, I live off the pain of others. I want you to know. Yeah. You know what? I want you to know all the things I'm going to do to your mom now. Like all oh my God. In my like great detail. Let the hate oh my God. flow through you. <laughs> oh, and with that Strike terrible revelation, down, we're out of here. Powerful Our intro and outro music imagine. is Welcome Home by Cambo. Podcrawl music is Snack Mix My Machette. You're, if you I like the show, it. please rate and review us on iTunes. You can leave us feedback I on like our Discord channel at smokinganddrinkingspace.com forward slash Discord. Go good on so Twitter at status underscore podcast, or you can email us at smokinganddrinkingspace at outlook.com. If you'd like to throw a few nickels our way, you can become a Patreon supporter by going to smokinganddrinkingandspace.com forward slash Patreon. And yeah, make sure to visit Creative Brain Candy for more great shows and other I'm creative works at creativebraincandy.com. I'm just glad Arecibo came Candy. back in time for this uh, movie. Or this week, I'm Jason. <laughs> I thought I almost had you stumped. I hate Rob so fucking much. I just fuck you, Rob. Fuck you. That's how I want this episode to end. Two middle fingers right in your face. Fuck yeah. Are you are you yeah. propositioning? Fuck you up, Rob. We'll talk to you next week. And this week we review the movie that shows not even a stacked cast and plentiful boob shots can get, save a shitty script starring Cirque Ben Kingsley. Oh, let me try that again. God damn. Cirque. <laughs> Cirque. 
shut up, Rob. You don't get to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> and this week we're nah. yeah, blah, 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 blah. three. God damn. I can't fucking it's the talk movie. today. It's yeah. Not- yeah, it's the movie. It's not anything else. It's he's, the movie. He's a little parched from watching the movie. Nah, that's no, that's dehydrated. No, no that's no. you. This movie does nothing for me. Nothing. <laughs>